I never thought I'd have to make a video like this, you guys. I apologize, but um, it's sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. So, more on that in just a minute. Let's get to the action. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switcher. I... We're going off the cuff on this one, y'all. Just grabbing the camera out of nowhere. Let me turn some lights on for y'all. We've been called out. We've been called out, and it's getting kind of serious. So, let me break this thing down for y'all. Over on Instagram, where we have our largest following, by the way. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We just hit 108,000. If y'all are interested in seeing some behind-the-scenes photos, drop a little uh, follow over there on the gram. Anyways, Baxter the Bait Man. He said a little something on his story this morning. I thought it was funny. You know, actually, I think... Okay, actually, I, I'm looking here, and it was like 23 hours ago, he made a story post in response to a picture I posted of a frog catch... Basically, in this photo, which I'm going to pop up on screen for you guys, I'm holding a fish I caught on a Guggen Squad Filthy Poppin' Frog, and I replaced that frog with another Guggen Squad Poppin' Filthy Frog for the photo. I wanted to make sure it had good legs on there and it was brand spanking new. Good looking photo. If I had replaced it with a different bait or something, that's a whole nother story. But basically his post was like, you know, when you see it. <laughs> like, and then his next post on his story, enhanced. <laughs> like, look at this, it's so funny. He's showing you that there's no line on the frog and it says amazing. He said, hashtag not proper and he tagged me, at Weston Smith. Moving right along and this is probably one of the best parts. It's just a blank screen with some text on it. It says, I'm not bashing anyone or a company, but he's actually bashing me and he's bashing Guggen Squad. That's what this is. Just wondering how a bass eats a frog with no hooks is what it says. But it like clearly has hooks on it. Like that's hooks right there. So Baxter the bait man, it has hooks. It has hooks. He said, or line tied to it. Dot, dot, dot. I was amused. <laughs> I'm glad I could provide you with some amusement, bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna break this thing down for you guys in just a second, because he's calling me out for catching a fish on a bait, and then presumably he's thinking I probably just put the frog in its mouth to take a picture of it. I might have caught it on something entirely different, and, and that would be wrong, that would be wrong. But before this story post of his expires, I thought this was hilarious. I should honestly save it for the end of the video, but I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna read it off right now. I'm going back through the story post, here it is. It was posted uh, fairly recently on Create Mode on Instagram, so he's just got some text overlaid. And it says, me, post photo of new bait. Then it says, random guy from the back, and then in quotes, that's a knockoff of XYZ. So someone's now calling him out, I assume, on a bait he posted saying that the bait he's using is a knockoff. And he says, me, comparing the two. Not even close, homie. So he's saying it's not a knockoff. But basically, he's getting defensive over the whole subject. He said, I know it makes for some really cool and stupid internet drama, let me read this one more time because he can't, he can dish it out, but he can't hang. He said, I know it makes for some really cool and stupid internet drama, but can we just quit the bait shaming for a bit? Sometimes it's warranted, but lately people are really reaching and it's kind of sad. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, don't talk crap about my baits. I can only talk crap about other people's baits and pictures. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> I can hardly make this video, man. This is so funny. It's comical and it's contradictory to what he just did. He just said this. Oh my gosh, you gotta get off of here, dude. So he can dish out the negativity, but he can't hang when somebody says his baits are a copy. So let me show you these two baits that we're talking about that I caught this fish on and took the picture of. I'm gonna break down the scenario and why I did it. And then also I'm gonna leave you guys with some pointers and things that you don't wanna do if you're trying to grow your own personal brand when it comes to social media. Before we go any further, y'all, quick intermission to talk about today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. We're gonna get right back to the action and throw out some tips if you guys are trying to grow your YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, social media, things of that nature. But in the meantime, if y'all are ready for the summer bite, the box this month is coming with some top water, almost like that poppin' filthy frog we threw today, man. You're gonna be getting those bites on the surface and it's too much fun. Sunrise and sunset with a bait like the revolver, you're absolutely gonna get them. Next up in this month's box is a spinner bait, tried and true. We also got a shallow diving crank bait. We've got some hooks included for your favorite soft plastic baits. It says world's sharpest hooks, Daichi. Get you some vile craws. We've thrown these as trailers on jigs, Texas rigs. We've thrown them punching in California on the Delta. Uh, some vile craws make for an excellent soft plastic. Do on those hooks right there and catch some big bass. As well as we got some paddle tail baits in here. 
soft plastic paddle tail baits. A lot of versatility in this month's box. I'm really digging it. If you guys want to try Mystery Tackle Box for yourself, you can get your first one for new customers as low as 10 bucks. The link is in the description. Check it out. You can also win prizes by measuring your fish. And with that, we're going to get right back into the video. Thank you, MTB, for sponsoring today's episode. By the way, we got more epic John Boat footage coming. We got the kayak over here. If y'all want to see more, let me know. So we were just out on the John Boat yesterday when we filmed this whole segment. In fact, let me throw up the catch right now real quick. That way, you know, I caught it on the poppin' frog. And we can just put that to rest real quick. So let me load that footage. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Oh, that almost hit you in the face. Oh my gosh. All right, hey, hey, Jill. Right there out of the grass in the middle. That's probably a three and a half right there, a big boy. Did we need pictures? And then I said, let me grab another frog out of the box for a photo with it. So I got this guy right here. So this is the one that I caught it on, right? The bullfrog pattern, but I had chopped off his legs and I just wanted it to look kind of like official and out of the box for the photo. Definitely no shame in that. It's almost like a, uh, a vehicle manufacturer, like right? maybe they're trying to sell some Ford Raptors or something. And they go ripping through the desert and the mud and the water and the Raptor but then they're gonna showcase a picture of like one that's freshly washed and maybe even a different color. I could go over a million examples, but you get the point. So anyways, the same bait that I caught the fish on is the bait that I took a photo with inside the fish's mouth. And I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on the whole thing in the comments down below, because some of y'all might be like, Weston, that was stupid of you. Or you might be like, Weston, that, that makes zero sense. I don't know why he's trying to call you out and expose you over something so lame as to catching it on a poppin' frog and then showing a poppin' frog in the picture. And I'm certainly not making this video because I feel like I have to explain myself. I, I don't owe this to anybody. I don't owe it to, it's not like I'm trying to win any of his fans over. I know that his fans are not gonna come follow me. They're gonna see that post and they're all gonna jump on the bandwagon with him. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I can't believe he took that photo. <laughs> so that's not why I'm making this video, but I do believe it can provide a lot of value for those that are working towards creating your own fishing pages as well. More and more folks these days are grabbing a camera and they're going out and they're taking photos of their adventures and they're in turn uh, building up a big audience and they're getting free baits, they're getting uh, sponsorships. And I want success for each and every one of you guys trying to do that and just know that throwing around the negativity is not gonna help in any way, shape or form. And it's really just as simple as that. But I felt like I needed to get this up on the interwebs and uh, just get y'all's opinion on this because it happens a lot, it happens a lot, it happens too much. People are just bashing everybody. So what can I say to like hopefully provide you guys some value? I know I'll probably get a lot of comments like, why are you giving this guy the credit and saying his name so much and you know, uh, giving him the, people would say clout, which I think is stupid because it could go the same way with me. Like, oh Weston, you're just doing it for clout. It's not what's happening. And, and honestly, he's in charge of his own success. If he's gonna hit 10,000 followers and 100,000 followers and a million followers on Instagram and then whatever he's got on YouTube, he's gonna do it. It's not me, he's putting in the work, right? I, I'm, I'm working on my stuff and if I throw shade at other people, shame on me. I try to keep things positive, uplifting. I don't post negativity, I don't post the fear, I don't try and do all that stuff. But I have in the past and that's what's funny is we all grow as content creators over time and, and none of us are perfect we can't do uh, everything by the book and so it's a big learning curve so if you guys are making your own YouTube videos and you are doing your own and stuff on Instagram TikTok, this that and the other think about the image that you're putting out there when you talk negatively about someone else he either just went out of the way to like check my content like there's pr there's plenty of people who actually are watching you but they're not following you and so keep that in mind you got a lot of haters that are just kind of like scrolling through your stuff he's probably watching my stories on the regular and if not maybe somebody uh, that's in his little click was like oh hey did you see the post that Weston made his frog wasn't tied on and so he just jumped on it because it's like blood in the water anyways I just wanted to keep this uh, short and sweet everybody no harm no foul I mean his Instagram page is looking pretty good from what I see off the top like good content uh, I wish him the best. Hopefully he has success in the future. Shoot, maybe we can get out on the bass boat in the future and do some fishing, man. People's opinions change, their values change, and uh, it'd be a good time, I'm sure. Fishing with the haters, that's what we'll title it, right? <laughs> we'll get out and have ourselves a good time, me and Kevin. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's episode uh, exposing Weston Smith for his fake photographs that aren't fake. We'll catch y'all on the next one where it's actually gonna be some fishing content. We'll get back to it for y'all. Uh, until then, you guys, uh, peace out. Peace out.
Guess what we're doing, y'all? We are facing off against Larry Melton Jr. and Red Day Outdoors on the skater, baby. We're out here on a private water fishing lake, about to have a ton of fun. We're gonna go 2v2 for top five bass. We're going for a weight, and this place looks amazing. I mean, there's submerged timber, you got reeds, you got grass. You really got it all. 